So here's my blowout, just trying something new. I just wanted to straighten it just to see the length and the texture that it would be once I got the kinks out. It's thick and it's coarse. I had to tie it down at night just to keep the puffiness down. I only did a little simple hairstyle, but here it is. Hey, it's Nicolette Toy. Coming back, doing another video. And um, as you can see, voila, hair is kind of straight. <laughs> Um, it's real puffy and healthy. Um, all I did was just braid the front and then kind of like the top just did something real quick because pretty much my hair was like up to here. So, and as you can see, the volume is just really thick. Even when I had relaxer in my hair, I can tell my hair wasn't that thick at all in here. It was like thin down here, kind of broken off. You know, those hot irons was killing it. And the chemicals, but um, as you can see, it's kind of fluffy a little bit. I didn't get it all the way straight just because I was kind of scared of the heat. And my hair is so thick that I would have to consistently keep going over it and over it. And I'm just like, I don't want to put that much heat in it. You know, this kind of gives the illusion a little bit, and I'm all good with that. <laughs> So, um, it's alright. Um, what I use... So, to get my hair, um, straight, um, I use the Yellow Bird, Yellow Bird Blow Dryer with, of course, the comb attachment. Had to. Um, it was in Sally's for 30 nine or actually like forty some dollars but it was a ten dollar off sale as of yesterday so if you can get there um <laughs> see if you can grab it this is a good blow dryer nice and sturdy and i mean the levels you can alternate um it's a good con air pro definitely good the attachment is what i needed though um it's kind of hard using a universal attachment because sometimes they really don't work on your dryer so um, take, it, take it from me, gotten a few dryers and the universal just wouldn't fit so I just took it all back and got a blow dryer that actually has a comb attachment. So there you go. I had to get it. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have known how to even do it without it to be honest with you. But yeah, I kind of look like that old like 60s bouffant, bouffant type of hairdo. I don't know but it is what it is. Uh, my little gray patch right here. but. Um, yeah, so it's just thick. And then the back maybe comes about here. Again, it's not really that straight, but it's good enough for me. A little frizzy, but um, I'm good. I actually did it yesterday, and I didn't want to fly iron again today to kind of get that silky look because I really wasn't doing anything except going to work out. Um, so why even bother with that? So I just kind of left it and put on some earrings, and here I go. Out with straight hair. <laughs> I love the diversity. I love the diversity of having my curls or going straight. So um kind of anxious too to kind of get it back to the curly mold to just see what it's going to look like. But I don't know, you know. Hope I didn't do any heat damage even though I had to really get in it. <laughs> my hair was no joke to try to even straighten it a little bit. So, um yeah. Alright, I just wanted to show you my little straight do and... Show you how I lifted everything. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.